So I was watching within Juventus, 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 Juventus. Uh, everything was about Juventus. Uh, uh, even uh, the room, black and white. When we were talking, we were talking about sports, it was football, it was Juventus. So he came inside my mind. What a terrible childhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's like brainwashing, right? That's, that's complete brainwashing, definitely. And Elia, how, what are your feelings about Juventus this season? So tonight they're playing Fiorentina, are you nervous? Yeah, the Fiorentina, tonight is... Uh, I hate a bit Fiorentina, Firenze. Uh, why? So, why? Explain why? Explain why you dislike Firenze. Uh, it's, a, it's a history. It's a history. I don't know. We don't like each other. So my the first one I, I hate very is the first team I hate is Milan. It's for the Champions League we lost in 2002. The second one is, is Naples, uh, and the third is Fiorentina. Oh, Inter is not in the top three. I love this. Nice. No, no, Inter. No, Inter. No, 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 no. But uh, the, the funny thing that you mentioned, so it's a Christmas special and you just mentioned Naples and there is a Christmas gift that came early for Juventus. The, the, okay, <laughs> I'm happy, yeah. You're happy to I'm play happy. Naples eventually? Yes, yes. We, anyway, for me, it's not correct because when there was the match against Juventus, okay, about COVID, Blah blah blah. They didn't come, but for me it's not correct because for me the Naples team has to come in Turin, and after will be the the president of Syria, uh, FGC, to say okay, today uh, Juventus Naples are not playing, okay, but not for me it's not correct. And the Naples team was in Naples, and the Juventus team was in Turin already. So it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like League Two, League Three. I, I, I don't know, explain. It's like League Two. It, it, this one is Serie A. You have to be professional. Anyway. I, I actually, I would never think that I would agree with a Juventus fan, but I feel like Napoli set a precedent. Like, no, we're just not going to travel to Turin. But uh, also despising Juventus as much as I do, I think it's a brilliant news and I'm very excited to watch this game. Yes, of course. No, no, I'm not I'm not worried about it. For me the the Juventus right now is a work in progress. Uh, against Atalanta we played very well, very against Genoa as well. Uh, against Palermo Parma, sorry, we won for uh, nil. So So okay. Elia anyway, it's in it's- fun. Eva. Right now, it's time for our Christmas quiz. So, five questions. Elia, I see you've got a bottle of gin next to you. For, yeah. each, for each correct answer, Rory and I will take a shot. I'm still drinking whiskey, and Rory still has his <laughs> bottle of rum. And I'm still recovering from yesterday's rum, so this is going to be rough. <laughs> <laughs> and so, how do you feel? Are you ready, Elia, for the five questions? I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready. All right, ready. question number one. Who is Juventus's longest serving manager? So this manager worked at Juventus for 13 seasons. What's his name? Ah, fucking throwback in the days. Uh, 13 years. 13 years as Juventus coach. Trapattoni. And it's the correct answer, Giovanni Trapattoni. <laughs> All right. Damn it. I, d- I didn't think he was going to get it. I didn't think he was going to get it. He's a, he's a good one. All right. Shot. Here we go. It's the start of a new evening. <laughs> All right. You got the first one. Second question. Oh, shit. This one should be, this one should be pretty easy. Who is Juventus's all-time top Goal scorer. All time. All time. In all competitions. This guy has scored 289 goals for the Bianconeri. Alessandro Del Piero. Yes, it's Alessandro Del Piero. Of course. Now, Ilya, (laughs) while Rory and I take a shot, can you explain to our listeners what the fuck is wrong with Juventus fans and Del Piero? 
why is he not liked by the Juventus family in general? Like, what is the, 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 all the controversy around Del Piero? I think Del Piero, he was tired about the situation, you know, the, the situation about Juventus. They were stolen, you know. Uh, they were stolen. They were talking with the ref. Uh, you know the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know that time. Even, <laughs> uh, of course, when they say they say we stole. Uh, uh, anyway, for me, in 2006, uh, France Italy the final. Uh, France Italy was Juventus A against Juventus B because <laughs> was. Anyway, they, they were playing eight or seven players. They were playing in, with the Juventus. So, uh, anyway, at the time, okay, Juventus uh, made a mistake. Made a mistake. Absolutely a mistake. And for me, Del Piero was tired. Del Piero, Pesotto, they were tired about the situation. And so, that's why they left. They left. Football. They are not even playing. They they are with television, with Sky Television. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't really realize Juve and like Juve and Del Piero kind of fell out. I didn't realize that happened, but it kind of makes sense, right? But right. So all-time top goal scorer with two hundred and eighty-nine goals. The next one, Elia, is an easy one. Who is Juventus's record signing? The player you have paid the most in your history. Oh, I'm just going to get the shot glass ready, right? Yeah, you should. Elia. Yes. Do you remember the exact price? Yeah, I love it. What's 100, uh, 120? 117, correct, yeah. 117, yeah, 117, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, next question. So you already have three wishes for three. Santa Claus, all right. So what is the team that Juventus have beat the most in their history? <laughs> 109 times. 109 times. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh my goodness me. 109. Please get it wrong. Please get it wrong. <laughs> Let me think. Of course it's a, of course it's an Italian team that Yeah, yeah, yeah. Needless to say it's an Italian team. I want to say Lazio. And it's wrong. It's Inter Milan. Oh. <laughs> it's actually Inter Milan. Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, I want to say Inter Milan. No. I don't know. I, I, thought this was, I thought if you didn't have a clue, there he goes. No. Yeah. I swear I want to say Inter Milan. And finally, the last question What is the team? that has beat you the most? So the team you've lost to the most in your history. This team has beat Juventus 60 times. Good questions, huh? This, this, this all goes to Rory. Good questions, man. He came yeah, up with you. Rory, you weren't so silent last night when we were no, Honestly, I'm, the, the energy <laughs> levels are lacking. I'm, I'm back in the game. Let's do it. Come on. So if Inter... No, it's AC Milan. Oh, AC Milan, the last time. Sixty wins against Juventus. They're the team that have beaten Juventus the most. So, you guess this five, fucking You guess the three. So, the longest-serving manager Trapattoni, the top goal scorer Del Piero, the record signing Ronaldo. Now you get three wishes for Santa Claus. What are you going to write in your letter? So for the first one, is the, they, they will open the stadium. I want to nice. I wanna see a football match with supporters, mm-hmm. of course. It's the first one. It's the first one. I want to see a classic football match. Especially in England, especially in England, because me, I'm watching uh, every Sunday or Saturday. If there is Juventus, I'm watching Juventus. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I'm watching Premier League. Oh, really? I don't care. Yeah, yeah, of course. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Premier League is Premier League. 
it's the best league. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so for me, supporters is my first wish. Second, second one, second one, second one, second one is uh, Ronaldo is gonna win the top score because he deserves it. Okay, so I, wanna, the... I want Ronaldo. He will beat Ibrahimovic. Okay, so you want nice. Ronaldo to be the top goal scorer in Serie A. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm curious about the third and final wish. And the third one, guys, I, I know. know it. I know it. I know. I'm wait. I'm wait. I'm still waiting for the fucking Champions League. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, oh, my yes. goodness me. So do you want to remind our listeners how many finals Juventus have lost? In I think 11. No, seven. 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 Uh, seven, seven, seven. Seven. Seven lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven finals lost. Seven. Seven. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, that, <laughs> that's why Ronaldo signed for Juventus, right? CR7. That's how it goes. CR7. <laughs> <laughs> But no, okay. Jokes aside, in the Champions League, What are the best teams this year, in your opinion? Who would be the, the title challengers besides Juventus that you definitely think? So, for me, it's uh, Bayern. Of course, yeah. yeah. Bayern Munich. I don't know why. I want to say Paris Saint-Germain. Okay. So, you don't think Barcelona are going to go through the next round against the PSG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, why I said by the PSG? But for me, they gonna they will win. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. yeah Barcelona is a, is a work in progress. So this year is a, is a mess. Uh, we want to renew that in uh, in Spain. It's not easy. But anyway, my Barcelona wasn't playing football. What was just playing Messi? Messi yeah. did amazing. I agree it. with you. I saw them described recently as Barcelona are just Arsenal with Messi. Like, that's the only <laughs> difference. That's the only difference. Like, they've got Messi. That's the only difference. Yeah, yeah. But this was great, Elia. So, three very nice wishes. The first one is for the football community. Fans in the stadium, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. I feel like, we, yeah, I really want to watch. Right now, we are used to watching the game without fans. But the first few times, it was crazy. Yeah, I want that back too. Cristiano Ronaldo to be the top goal scorer. You, top said, goal scorer. you said instead of Ibrahimovic, but also Lukaku is up there in the conversation. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. And it will be a good battle. Anyway, eh... but for me, to be honest, Cristiano Ronaldo deserves it. Deserves it. This boy deserves it. He's a hard worker. Oh, he is a hard worker. And finally, the Champions League. Well, we And show. Finally. We, we shall see. But hey, Leah, it was great to have you on. Thank you for coming, for taking your time. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Yeah, It's thanks a... for coming on, man. It was great to talk to you. And good to have you Juventus fan on, finally, I think. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. And Elia, whenever you want to come back, we are here to discuss football. Especially maybe after an Inter-Juventus, we should definitely have you on. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Thank you very much, Elia. Goodbye. Bye, guys. And our next guest is someone we've been waiting to get on the pod for a while. He's someone that usually joins in mine and Tommy's um, long, long chats about football. It's Michael. How are you doing, mate? Hi, everyone. Nice to be here. Nice to be here. Um, where are you currently calling us from? Milan. From Milan, the headquarters of the Anglo-Italian Football Connection. Exactly. He is in Tommy's living room. They are actually... Potentially breaking rules. I'm going to tell the police. We'll find out. But anyway, <laughs> let's see. So, it's an interesting season for Inter so far. How are we feeling about Conte? What do we think? Uh, it's difficult to say. I want to be optimistic. I was very disappointed for the Champions League. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't expecting to, to get out of the Champions League so early. But uh, at the same time... We're looking, we're looking a bit better now. Uh, it seems like the players are getting used to the system and hopefully we can, we can win the league in May. Hopefully. Um, I don't want to... There is a Juventus <laughs> fan. You don't want to jinx it, right? I don't, don't want to get my hopes too, too high, but uh, I am optimistic about it. 
I think you've got reason to be optimistic. It would be me and.